I started as a volunteer. Um, I wanted to work with parents of newly diagnosed kids and uh, volunteering led to this really surprise opportunity to be on a state board um, for uh, UCP of Oregon and, um, and still I, I was just doing this kind of part-time in my own time and it wasn't until a man that we served was asked um, what's it like to live with disability and he, um, he didn't use voice for communication and he wrote out oppression and held up the piece of paper and that was it. That was when I transferred from you know, doing my own thing and being a volunteer to um, full-time full -time disability work. I'm a product of a lot of people's hard work as a person with disability. Um, folks who cared about the public interest and worked for, for s social justice and civil rights gave me kind of the opportunities that I have. But when I think about it, I remember when I started and I would say, you know, I'm just a volunteer. I'm just a, and I hear this every day, I'm just a parent, I'm just a sibling. And we need to have folks move from just as to justice. And we need people to understand that their, their participation, their voice in government isn't just important, it's needed. And it's not just needed, but it's necessary for government to work well. And I think that the disability community in particular is so disenfranchised, so segregated, with the lowest unemployment, with um, sort of all of these barriers. And I think uh, for folks to understand that their voice is important and necessary for government to work well um, is, what, is what keeps me here. Hugely flattering and um, it was just an honor to stand with a group of folks that were being recognized and particularly, like I said, from an organization that I go to because I respect what they're doing. Um, it, was, it was fantastic.